Kira and welcome back to Japan where I'm going to be giving you a reaction and review to Gutter Moon by Vola as part of our World Tour Wednesdays and as always this is the review video if you want to see the reaction that I've just done then pause this video click the little link in the description below and it'll open up a separate player a little YouTube player so you can watch the song along with me in case you've never heard it before if you just want to see how I reacted on first listen but otherwise here comes the review are you ready for it? Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so this song was quite a joy. Um, I really liked this. Now, as always, we try to be honest on this channel, try to break things down, give the positive and negative, try to sort of really look at everything from an objective and subjective point of view. But one of the things that makes World Tour Wednesday so interesting when we listen to music from outside of Japan is the fact that... Um, Often it could really be anything that um, I get when I press play on these suggestions. And so, you know, you get the whole plethora of everything from songs where I really don't know what quite what to make of it, all the way to things where you think, wow, that's amazing. And this is one of those ones where with no prior expectations, um, I was immediately grabbed by the intro. I love that sort of chaotic, like I said, the distorted, um, weird little piano riff. It reminded me a lot, actually, of um, just uh, last week on my birthday, uh, we did a review of Alia's song, Happy Birthday, question mark, which had a very similar intro. I remember being equally uh, grabbed by that and thinking, wow, that's a really that's a really cool way to bring in the song. It's both sort of engagingly gets you interested and yet in its slight sort of thin, distorted sound it also makes it very clear that you're waiting for the song to actually come in to drop. So it's a, it's a good way to sort of get your ears uh, up to speed before the song comes in. So anyway, yeah, good start. And then when it came in, um, like I said, there was it was all about a mixture of things, having sort of mixtures of things that juxtaposed each other but worked perfectly together. So you had those distorted sounds, sometimes in the vocals, a lot on the bass with the guitar as well, thick and distorted. And yet you had some quite punchy sounds. Some of the vocals, again, were quite um, clear. Um, and then the drums were very sort of punchy and direct, which was nice. And you know, you put all that, and there was some synth work as well, which was very sort of nice and uh, clear, you know, clear and uh, un unaffected, un un unproduced. Um, so well, I guess you could say synthesizers are kind of produced by definition, but don't ignore that. Um, so it's, it was that mixture of various things happening at the same time, various different sounds, but all sort of sitting together and complementing each other quite well. And that also played into the way the song was written, the way that it was sort of moving on a very steady beat the beat did not change you always had that beat going throughout and yet the fact that it was um it was playfully having that the number of bars was not always it's not like four four bars you know four beats per bar you know the number of beats was changing per bar and you know it, it was not sitting exactly on top of the beat kind of hard to explain this unless i start going into music theory which you guys know i do in separate videos anyway but it was basically the fact that um everything was aligning to the grid made from that beat and yet it wasn't your typical one two three four one two three four so i liked the fact that the song was all about juxtapositions of things about things which are you know maybe shouldn't go together or are maybe opposed to each other but working together coming together in a sort of framework that just makes this very complete sounding song but also keeps it engaging um you'll notice that there was no twiddly musicianship it wasn't one of those types of songs we look at sometimes one of the groups who are really um brilliant at producing uh stuff that just baffles your brain and yet at the same time sounds like it's working perfectly is Sokoninaru but of course Sokoninaru's approach is more related to there's a lot of um, twiddly instrumental stuff going crazy all the time this was everything in there seemed simple I imagine pretty much everything that you could hear could be played by a relatively moderate uh, you know not not particularly famous musician um, but it was the structuring. It was the thought that goes into writing. And this is why I often say I would much rather hear a really well-written artist um, who might not be the greatest musician than the greatest musician who doesn't have particularly well-written songs. Good writing always wins. This was good writing. Um, and what really proved that? Um, again, it's uh, a lot of the time the there's a confidence when you when you're doing something technical when you're doing something innovative there has to be an element of confidence to it as well and i love the confidence that they had 
to not only not have to be showy, but to at the end bring it round and crescendo it by going for an ending where it did just kind of then fall into a more traditional 4-4, four, four, sing it like it's a hook, sing it like it's a chorus, sort of uh, crescendo ending. I like that. It was a nice, simple payoff where the tension, well, not maybe tension, but a slightly sort of intrigue-like uh, tone set by the the majority of the song was then settled into something much more comfortable and much more, um, when I say easy on the ear, I mean much more easy on the brain perhaps. Um, and that's a nice way of doing it. It's that shift in mood. It's Because when you do that, when you suddenly go then back to your sort of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, four style um, of writing, um, obviously the brain then can sort of calm down as it um, as it just takes in everything a bit easier. Um, and that is, that is in itself, that is the trick of writing, you know, being able to, you know, influence the right thoughts and feelings so like i say it's um i'm tr what i'm really trying to get across here because i like i said i love the the music theory style of things and the writing style of things um that you know that part of music is obviously particularly close to my heart um what i'm really trying to get across here is that what seems like very simple things in this song are actually very well crafted choices designed to get the most interesting response out of the listener designed to evoke the right feelings the right emotions to have a sort of journey in the song and i liked it i really liked it it didn't to put too much pressure on the singer as well i mean the singer's performance i i, I don't know are they a good singer are they not a good singer are they they, they didn't really have to push themselves too hard because the song was doing all of the heavy lifting for them, same as the musicians. Um, so the vocal performance was fine. But um, yeah, I just felt like it, it was nice. To, um, it's nice to hear a song where the, whoever the writer was, assuming a member of the band or maybe the whole band, um, whoever the writer was, did all the heavy lifting before anyone picked up a microphone or an instrument. And that is something that it's refreshing to hear on occasion um so i yeah i really enjoyed this i definitely would be into listening to more of these guys and i certainly will make an effort to do so whether through the world tour wednesdays or through some other system but yeah i really did enjoy that very much um i would say that um when it comes to any criticisms i kind of hard to find any maybe if there had been some sort of because uh, it was quite once the thick guitar came in it was pretty much thick sound throughout I think I'd have to struggle to find anything I didn't like but maybe on repeat listens I would think that the song could perhaps use up some point towards the middle where things broke down a little bit just to give a slight change in timbre maybe um, but you know like I said that's something where I'm, that I might feel that way after I've listened to it to death but um, at the moment I just felt like it made a very interesting journey and it was engaging enough as it was so maybe a slight a uh, shift in the thickness of the arrangement at some point would have given it a little bit of extra variation, but that's the best I can really think of on that front. I really enjoyed this. It was a great song. Uh, definitely interested to check out more of this artist. So as always now, this is just my subjective, mixed with objective opinion uh, as someone who's worked with music my entire adult life. But of course, it's only as good as it is to you, the listener. So tell me what you think in the comments. Try to justify your opinions. I really look forward to reading what you say. I'll, I definitely read all the comments and I try to get back to as many of them as I can. And of course, if you want to get more involved in discussion, feel free to follow any of the social medias linked in the description below as well. As there's always someone on there talking about music. That's what I love about this, especially with Discord. And um, hopefully we'll be getting more people on the Reddit as well. I've got some cool ideas for Reddit coming up, uh, hopefully in the next few weeks. And on on top of all of that, I just want to say a big, big thank you to anyone who's on the Patreon for, as I always say, and I really mean keeping the channel alive, keeping this whole thing going. So thank you to them. Thank you for anyone who likes and subscribes. And thank you most of all to make for, for making it through to the end of this video. We edit nothing. So until I hopefully see you in Japan very soon for the next one of these. For now, ciao, ciao.